what's up everybody it's back pain one and this video is going to be a little rally special stage and an unconventional vehicle in rigs of rod one of my favorite uh, vehicle simulation games on the pc because it's only on pc it's open source it's fun but sometimes it can be a pain in the ass with graphics flying at the speed of balls into space i'm going to lower this out of the way i got the uh cpu thing and GPU thing over here on the second screen. I'm gonna move, turn Skype on over here. That way, I get yo spammed by Lady Clear here, probably in the middle of this video. I'm prepared to react to that by saying no. And let's just get this thing on a roll. So I got my wheel plugged in. You can hear that. I got the shifter. I don't, I don't have any recording on it because you know it's. I just got home from work and I don't have time to hook all that stuff up and I don't feel like rendering all this stuff because I'm running this video at 1080p um, recording this at 1080p just for you guys the, about the 300 people that are subscribed to me I believe so here we go starting her up now the course when we're going to be doing this uh, little rally on is called Badlands Rally it's right here it's part of the uh, high quality pack for 3.7 rigs of rod if you're wondering where it's at right here no Arthur information available it's just there so I'll start up and I'll give you when I spawn in I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the uh, whole thing I'll zoom out and I'll show you the path that this course takes okay so from right here I'm gonna zoom out 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 frame rate turning good okay so ah crap it's the freaking gravel one hold up take two I have to do the tarmac version for this. Thank you SSD for loading quickly. Tarmac. 334. Okay. Good. Start. Please. Okay. Now, once this loads, thank you. Move up right here. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. So here's the, tar here's the whole rally course. It's set in this little nicely done terrain might I add it's really good terrain it looks pretty good I have HDR on so that's why it looks kind of blurry so it starts here snakes up like this you follow the mouse goes all the way over here comes up you yeah, so turn up this hill and this mountain road goes behind the mountain comes forward on it it'll follow this comes here I zoom out a little bit more you kinda see it, it U-turns a little bit right there comes back goes right here comes to here zigzags around this, goes under the bridge, you're going to start, it comes out that way, and it just kind of snakes its way over there, a bunch of S-curns over there, does a few more turns, and the finish line somewhere in that region that way. And this is another rally course all on its own to go in that direction. So, let's get this thing rolling. Kind of an underworld right there. Yeah, even the underworld's trained. And there's a random tree kind of just chilling underground over there. Okay. Anyways, zoom back in. Come on, scroll faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Little finger. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay. We're in. Walk forward. The vehicle that I'm going to be using on this course is. Wait for it. It's going to be a transport truck. All the way down the list, the Scania, Scania R top line 6x2 semi truck. Hold on, I gotta plug my laptop in. One second here. Ooh. Okay. So my laptop decided to want to unplug itself. Okay. Here it is. Scania. Nice truck. Give you some walk details of it. First off, if you hear this. Nice and clearly. Straight piped V8 diesel. And you can see these wheels. It has pretty sharp turning radius for a semi, you know. And it's only this is the only drive wheel because if you look under the back, there's only one differential right there. The second differential doesn't exist. And if you push F10, you can just completely lift that rear axle off the ground, and you just have this kind of arrangement going on. But you know, I just need all the wheels on the ground for maximum grip. Other things you can turn on this vehicle. You can zoom in here. You can kind of see the engines there. Nice big 
the engine, the cab moves, has like a kind of a spring system in it. And if you just do this, you turn, um, actually you can tilt the cab forward. Got the engine right there. Let's close that. Hit the gas, it goes quicker. Hopefully I'm not gonna have that sound on all the time. Yep, sounds like I'm gonna have that sound on for a while. So, wait a minute, let me kill it. Damn! Okay, okay, it stopped. Let's stall the vehicle out there. Now let's turn on all the lights. So we got these lights, these lights, lights in the top. Now where it's ready for a rally special stage, let me tell you. Then you got the ones right there, and you can also make them flash. Fair enough, right? Oh, and if you want, you can turn on the work lights in the back. I think. Did I turn them on? Yeah, they're on. The work lights back there. Turn those off. And you got some support legs for whatever reason. Okay, not in this truck. No back doors. No slide front doors. And that's all I asked when the trailer's hooked up. Okay. So, no further ado. This course doesn't have a timer on it, but I'm going to superimpose a timer because I'm going to start a little series with this. But the truck does have a 14 uh, gears. Okay. So, how it works when you switch ratios and rigs of rod. If you're in neutral, you push X, it goes to low range, that's 1 through 6. Push square when in neutral to go to mid, and you push triangle to go to high. In this course, I'll be using gears 7 through 14. Line her up. Pick it up. You know I missed a cheat. Pick it up. Ooh. I have full clutch and brake. You can see it down there, but I don't think you're gonna see it in the interior view. Bring up this menu here. Red line's about 2188. I'm not gonna have that on because this is gonna be too, you know, intrusive to me. And I'll start the timer up. Once I set off that sign right here and give them full beans. Okay, ready? And three, two, one, go. That's a nice sound to it. First gear. Here, I gotta go to the high ratios for this section. The ball. I don't know how fast I'm going, but I'm going quick for a truck on this track. And 14 here right there. Back to mid, back to both here for that. semi-truck drag racing up a bunch of load on. Right here it's going to sound like that. This is what remember those trucks. I'm not carrying a load. I don't have flames shooting out the pipe there. It would be nice to see it. And there's flames flying out of every ship. Yeah, this thing's straight pipe from the factory. Fun story. Buddy the Great Swede. He uh, grew up in Sweden and he had these things were always driving around. Those were the primary trucks over in Europe in the Swedish area of Zen. And he said he hated these trucks, not because they're powerful, red, flashy, no. It's because they're straight from the factory to wake his ass up at 6 in the morning. Oh, yeah. Input lag is minimum. Your 
lied to me. that hill climb. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay, that's the German. <laughs> <laughs> No! I mean, the physics on this thing, I mean, it has weight. I mean, this thing weighs... how much? It weighs 17 tons, so... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. out like that, I'm not shifting, something is burning out, but I'm thinking, oh shit, it's actually, this thing's built for hauling loads across Europe, not hill climbing some bumfuck Egypt freaking rally course, awesome. Oh, what the hell. There's red signs everywhere, tell me to slow the hell down. <laughs> Oh shit, that's a jump. Brakes! Air brakes do their job, I think. I don't know if air brakes are discs. I didn't look, I presume they're air brakes on a big ass truck like this. Because if they were discs, that would have probably, they would probably have melted off and um, re soldered themselves as part of the hubcaps. Oh yeah, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. I have to go to 13 for this corner. You didn't see that. What I did there was actually go to low range instead of high range. The engine's good though, it's fine. Scan the egg and survive. Idiots like me doing this. This shit's, gonna, this shit's complicated right here. This thing's worth this truck's not designed for. Ugh. What I'm gonna do 
to like once a week or however long after I get to do this or in here, I'll take a different vehicle from Rig and Rod, you know, practical high quality ones that are not hold on, OP. They're just generally difficult or not expected to drive with this thing, and I'll put a little lap time here of the circuit without crashing, damaging, and we'll see see what vehicle I can get rid of this monkey ass backwards fucked horse best. Whoa, there's the ending right over here. And time. <laughs> so I'm afraid to look outside. What's the damage look like? Oh, look at that, and even this thing does have a damage model. Because if I knew if I would have messed up, this front bumper would be screwed, the wheels would be screwed. I think that's a pretty good effort. Now, let's see what the official thing says. So it's yeah, it's not damaged at all. Nice. And just to prove to you guys, this thing is not a you know one of those standard models. I'll just you know fling it. Like so. And oh yeah. So, oh, yeah, it's, well, it's a damageable model. It's not one of those rigid models that just stay their shape and just have the ain't the things, whatever, you know, damage. So, I'm going to escape out. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, and if it's, uh, if you guys like more of this, I'll start doing this once a week. Till next time, it's uh, Backpin1. Thanks for watching. If I can get my damn mouse to function, I can get the thing to stop this recording. <laughs> See you guys.